General, Levi's army is struggling far more than we expected. Oh, they'll be fine. I highly doubt that even Lord Biao would expect to get past the entire Bai army with just one charge. Though they may appear to just be striking at random, I can see what he's really looking for is a place to light a fire. Fire? Well, perhaps it's more accurate to say he's trying to create that place. When you are faced with this type of opponent, I have found it's unwise to allow them to simply roam free and take what they want. Once you do that, you'll be able to catch them off guard and get the better of them. Hey! We caught up to Lord Biao quicker than expected! And they're looking a little bewildered. Something's not right here. This battlefield... It smells of nothing! You're telling me Qing Shi can predict all of Lord Biao's moves? Yes. Well, this adjutant of yours must be a remarkable man indeed. But Lord Biao is much more of a beast than he is a man. And I don't believe he'll be as predictable as you think. I am confident in my skills as general, and there are some moves even someone of my skill cannot predict. But Xing Shi, he has a greater understanding of Lord Biao. Does he now? Indeed. I know this because Qing Shi and Lord Biao are like birds of a feather, in that both these generals act on instinct. Xie Dao! Send our front lines to the back so they recover! Sir! Jie Bao, you bring our middle and back rows forward. Sir, this will be our second charge. Right. Qingsha, sir, there's a large dust cloud where Lord Biao's army is positioned. So he's rearranging his troops in preparation for his second charge. In that case, the time is now. Move Gong Sun Long's right flank army forward. Uh huh? Sir! Uh, uh, a fluctuation in the detached unit to the left. I think I smell a rat. Hmm. Now this is getting interesting. Everybody, we're moving to the left! Uh, Another huge dust cloud kicked up! Lord Biao's army is now heading to the right! Did they figure it out when Gong Sun Long's army shifted? We have them now. Forward, man! Let's go! Clear a path! Orders from headquarters! Now Zhao's left flank is on the move! Then they're forcing their way through their allies' own army? The left flank army moved forward at Qing Shi's command. This positioned them right behind Lord Biao's army, snaking their way into Zhao's right side. This meant that the very last row of Lord Biao's army, full of exhausted troops, were left wide open for an attack from Wan Ji's left flank army. Oh, no! Lord Biao! Huh? Sir! The enemy's attacking our back row! Striking an enemy's weak point is one of nature's ironclad rules. That's too bad, Lord Biao. The very fire you were trying to light yourself, we have a lit it first, under you. Hey! How are our rear troops holding up? It's too far to see from here! Then we better go and back them up! The troops we sent to the back are all exhausted and could be wiped out! It's... no use! Uh huh? The flow of troops is moving entirely in this direction. To suddenly turn back against the flow now... would be suicide. Even on the slim chance it could work, it's still far too risky a maneuver. But what if we were to break through, then circle around towards the rear from the outside? The rear troops won't be able to survive that long! Then we have no choice but to just leave them behind! <sighs> Look, Xin! Behind us! Lord Biao is completely stopped! <sighs> so Zhao's general Qing Shu is more of the instinctive type? Yes. I'm actually surprised by that. He didn't come across that way when I'd met him. You should know that not every instinctive type general is as beastly as Lord Biao. There are indeed some like him, but the raw fury of a lion that finds his prey and attacks it violently. But there are others with the 
cunning and patience of a spider, setting traps to ensnare their prey, who walk right into it of their own free will. And once the prey enters the spider's web, they'll find themselves paralyzed with no escape. He is the silent hunter, and it is for this reason that I find the most dangerous instinctive general to be Ching Shu. Ah! To think this battle would be so one-sided. Just look how Wan Ji's army is pushing them back. Lord Biao's rear troops are finished. Li Bai, sir. Is this... Yes. An unforgiving trap, and they fell for the formation. Lord Biao is about to lose his rear soldiers. His army has been tangled in a spider's web. My word. And here I thought Lord Biao had enough intuition to keep himself out of any enemy's traps. According to General Ching Xia, Lord Biao is highly attuned to every important aspect of the battlefield. Based on the opposing army's position, its relative size, and even their troops' emotions and where they're looking. But with none of those details, he won't be able to rely on his instincts and they will bring him nothing. And I am realizing that is exactly why Qing She didn't breathe any of this strategy to me. Huh? That's why he forbade me from using any of my usual tricks with my army in this battle. That is how he cleverly lured Lord Biao into his own trap. In the end, it turns out General Qing She was even more unpredictable. <laughs> <laughs> that was magnificent, General! I suggest we have Gong Sunlong's right flank head straight into Lord Biao's troops and finish the bastards off in one fell swoop, sir! General? Be silent. Do you hear that? Both of you, concentrate your eyes and ears. <clears throat> the sound of Wan Chi's army. Ruthlessly killing Lord Biao's troops as they cling to their pitiful lives foolishly. <laughs> this is the best part. It's what I live for. Kill them all, men! Do not ever forget our grudge! Make them suffer like we did! This is awful. The troops in the back. Th they're too exhausted to defend themselves at full strength. <sighs> If this keeps up, nearly half of the back row will be wiped out! No! Half of them gone? We only had 40,000 versus their 120. We can't afford to lose a single one. This can't be. Just what is Lord Biao's army even doing? There's nothing they can do. Their only chance to survive is if Lord Biao can circle around to the back and help boost the troops' morale. Otherwise, this could be the end for all of them. Keep going! Damn them! Die! Tianyong! Tianyong! The flags! Begin the counterattack! Say your prayers, South Bastards! Shane! The uh, captain and the troops. Uh, they're here? That's them, all right. I can see the Fei Shane force flags clear as day. But they should have gotten there well before the rest. How on earth? I know how. There's only one way they could have pulled this off. Uh, wait, you mean... They actually ran against that current? What's the matter? Is that the best you can-
Everybody, let's seize victory! Attack! Lord Biel, look! Behind us! Our rear guard has turned around and is on the attack! What got their asses in gear? Somebody gave an inspiring speech. Who was it? <laughs> Are you two really that dense? That precocious young man really stirred up one hell of a fire. For him to have caught up to our rear forces so quickly. He must have been riding at the speed of sound. He's just like us. <laughs> you might not be aware of it just yet, boy, but I can see it clearly. The talent that you possess. Deep within you, the burning spirit of an instinctive warrior is awakening. Who'd have thought the man who would inherit Wang Yi's Polex would be a lad like you? Get down! Let's get back in formation! <sighs> Sir, we're heading back in too? You're damn right we are. The tables are turning in our favor. And I'm hungry for my next prey! The Zhao General cowering all the way in the back there! Qingxia, sir! Wang Ji's army is under enemy attack! Impossible! The rear forces were supposed to be weakening! It's been a long time since fought an enemy just like me. Let's be off! <laughs>